This is a rather unflattering statue of Vladimir Putin. That looks incredible. And this is that same statue being loaded into a van to be taken to a place in the UK called Bell End. So I could crown him the Bell End of the Year. Now, if you're from the UK, you'll understand what it means to call someone this particular word. I am a Bell End. <laughs> But if you aren't from these parts, let me quickly explain. This guy, no, no, not him. This guy is a grade A bell end. And I wanted to showcase that to the world with this statue in the most unfortunately named town in the UK. I didn't know it was real, but there is a place in the UK with an unfortunate name. And this all started three weeks ago at 11 p.m. in an industrial park on the outskirts of London and it's in the middle of nowhere. I don't really know where to go. Whilst I'm wandering around, let me give you some context. I think they're in here. I was told the best way I can make a statue was to use one of these things from the future. And for Robocop's arm to do its job, I needed to give it a 3D model of the statue. Look, I think I just, you know, I think that's perfect. Which the machine would then cut out of a block of stuff. I got the image of Putin made and I sent it to this factory, who told me to turn up and they would start the process. Hello, mate. How are you doing? You're How are you doing? Good, thanks. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's that? That's, that's it. <laughs> that's the model. That looks, this is the first time I've seen it. Oh my God, that is amazing. This was just a tester to see if the dimensions were right for our life-sized version. Everything looked okay and so it was go time. Oh my God, it's starting. <laughs> The arm went through the night, slowly cutting out the statue from the block of stuff. And the next morning, I saw Putin for the first time. Right, we're back. Matt here. Tony. How you doing? Good, good thanks, buddy. Yeah, I'm good, good, good to see you. Where's Vlad? Oh, look at him. Is he heavy? Uh, relatively, well, yeah, a little bit. That is incredible. My vision of seeing this bell end in bell end was starting to come true. We got him in the van and tied him up. First time you've tied up Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Probably not. Never you, Tony. What you like? Oh, Before driving to get him painted and get put on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> the bait we've got is called Mega Bona. <laughs> and after 48 hours, I had my life-size statue of Putin. There he is. Ready to be unveiled. Now, all that was left to do was go to Bell End. It was the day of the big erection. I had everything in the back of the van and I was barreling towards Bell End. In terms of a plan, I didn't have anything that was exactly extensive. Erect Putin, put him up, and away we go. It's a beautiful day for him. Beautiful day to be putting up a statue. After a couple of hours in the car, I arrived in what I thought was the right place. According to maps, this is now Bell End. Apparently they've had real troubles with signs around here because everyone keeps nicking them. There was one, however, that had been permanently staked into the ground. There it is. Bell End. Here we go. I now just needed a place to hole up and to plan how I was going to put up Vladimir. It doesn't seem that busy. Right, let's go into that Tesco Express. Yes, Max, very good. They'll never suspect you there. I realized quite quickly where the best place for Putin was, on this patch of grass, which was next to this tree that definitely looks like a cock and balls. I didn't know whether anyone would stop me putting up my bell end of the year statue, but I did have something up my sleeve. This whole thing is a high vis. Get away with anything. Look like you belong in high vis. Right, first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the plinth. I'm gonna go plinth first. <laughs> so there I was with my plinth, looking like a close second for Bell End of the Year. And it seems like my movements were causing heads to be turned in Bell End, which meant I had to be quick for the main okay. event. Put a bag on his head. He looks like he's wearing a bath right now. <laughs> All right, let's go. Nothing to see here. 
Really nothing, just a man carrying a rude golden statue of Vladimir Putin. Our Putin was in place. All that was left to do now was to unveil his crown to the world. But I was having difficulties. I'm here in Bell End, and I can reveal that the Bell End of the year His bell end's too big. Now the biggest question was, what would the general public think? It's safe to say that the statue was starting to turn some heads. <laughs> he has no idea what that is. What was this monstrosity that had just been put up in their lovely home? I thought that I should do also one more thing for the people of Bellend. So I provided some free rotten eggs for people to do whatever they wanted to do with them. Bosh. But it didn't seem like they needed much encouragement. He's thinking about it. He's definitely thinking about it. Oh. <laughs> Gonna write out of eggs at this point. With one gloopy and eggy statue, I wanted to get to know what the locals actually thought of our bell end of the year, but it seemed like they were quite pleased with their new neighbour. Thought I'd, I thought I'd make the uh, bell end of the year. Do you know who that is? I know exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh my God, it's Putin. Yeah? Are you, oh. are you from bell end? I'm actually, I live just up the road. All right. Yeah, so, but... Have you I, lived in bell end your whole life? No, 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 I come from Alzo. Yeah? I think it was a hat that, that, that actually put me off. I, I don't, I don't think, it, I don't think it's a hat, no, sir. No, I've been polite. Well, yeah, you've been... Well, to be honest with you, you're fantastic. Are you a resident of bell end? Yeah. You are? I'm, uh, Brilliant. So what is the statue made out of? Are it's, you guys local artists? I'm not, no. But it seemed like the statue was the source of community and I was meeting all sorts of people who were loving this monstrosity. I fucking do it, man. I thought, is that what I think it is? It definitely is what I think it is. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. Word was obviously getting out as before I even got out of Bell End, the papers were picking it all up. Every publication was running the story. Even the Lad Bible gave it a run. But why have I done this? Well, I want to use my platform for some good. It has been a tough year for so many people, and a lot of that is down to one particular person, my bell end of the year. So I want to raise some money. Even by watching this video, you've helped raise a bit, as I'm giving the AdSense from this video to charity. But if you want to go a step further, I'm selling mini bell end of the year statues below, with 100% of the proceeds going to the Red Cross who were helping refugees and vulnerable people at this time. I thought that if our bell end could be put to good use, it would be to help others. Thank you for watching and have a happy and healthy new year. God, it's Putin. Yeah.